like in the next four seconds, you will never have a tacky wacky again in your life. Awesome. <laughs> Yo guys, what's up? It's a new video. Um, you guys probably don't know the sports like version of me, but I really like sports. So today we're going to be reviewing Chelsea versus Wolves, Wolverhampton Wanderers. So, so first of all. Today was the first day because um, you guys don't know Frank Lampard got sacked as Chelsea manager. So there's that. And today was our new manager Thomas Tuchel's first game. So um, uh, yeah. Um, so we drew. Oh damn! Leicester City is losing 1 0 to Everton. And Man United, who are second place by the way, they were first, but now they're second, are losing 1 0 to, I think, Sheffield United, who are, who are 20th. <laughs> the, the former, like, first place people are losing to, like, the bottom people. Like, yeah, this season's been mad. So, as you can see, Chelsea moved up from 9th to 8th. Uh, from an Arsenal thingy majiggy from an Arsenal win against Southampton so Southampton didn't get any points Arsenal got three so now they're on 30 points so as you can see in the like bold black text uh, right here Arsenal and Chelsea on the same points but then over here um, Chelsea's four ahead on goal difference so we're still maintaining that eighth place so so he, so Thomas Tuchel, uh, Thomas Tuchel, I try to call him PT. So he chose a decent lineup. Not gonna lie, but I think he underestimated the Wolves a bit. Yeah. Oh um, yeah, oh, I was just quiet for a bit, so Um yeah. We actually did really good like compared to previous matches. I think Tuck uh Tuko's like really good. I like you know managing, you know, pushing our players to like their limit and stuff like that. So they do better. Kovacic got a close a close hit. So close, it just bended right past the what's it called top the top corner. And yeah, and also what's it called? At the last second, Havertz nearly got ahead of but then that stupid wolves striker just defended it. So um yeah, there's that. So in my opinion, because he didn't play Timo Werner because he underestimated Wolves and how good he could do. In my opinion, he should have put uh, he should have put Werner at start instead of uh, Giroud, and then maybe if like Werner wasn't doing good, uh, well enough, uh, like not straight after half time. I think I like the 60th minute or something like maybe 60, 65th minute. I'd put on Giroud. Not Abraham. Abraham's like too overrated in my opinion. But then he should put on Giroud instead of Werner if he's not doing good. But I think he would. Because before, the thing with Lampard is you're putting too much pressure on Werner. So there's that. Havertz finally got to play after a while. So there's that. And then Mount was like, he put on Mount and Pulisic too late. Like, in my opinion, I think at least. I think Pulisic should have started. Mount may be on sub, but then should have at least been pawned by half time. Because it's like kind of obvious by half time that we should have like pawned Mason Mount to like big up the aggression. Because we were playing like defensive in the first half. In the second half, that's when we like started, started like attacking more a bit. But then we didn't have that aggression that Werner, Pulisic, and Mount have. So, um, yeah, that's what I think of it. So that like, Pulisic was doing decent, yeah. Pulisic and Mount put in a lot. It one day like came on. There was like suddenly like a build of like you know, there was suddenly like you know a new momentum built uh, built like with Pulisic and Mount. 
and like a new like form of aggression when they came on but he just put him on too late too late and in my opinion if anything if he chose that lineup i would have swapped um what's it called i would have swapped pulisic and mount earlier i would have put them on earlier edward mendy is the biggest shambles in our team like he is shambolic like literally way to get a new goalkeeper like in my opinion a good goalkeeper that we could get right now would be let's see who good goalkeepers what good goalies are there um <laughs> all i know we just swap mendy because mendy is atrocious like he lets some easy goals in like he the thing with mendy is he comes out too much as if he's like a full-on uh, as if he's like a uh, like a half-time defender when he's a goalkeeper like he comes out for no reason and that's why they that's why wolves nearly scored wolves nearly scored but luckily for us i think it was neto yeah neto just missed the scoop it was a wonderful scoop not gonna lie but mendy again just comes off his line like he's three yards away from an actual striker like goalkeepers are meant to stay back or at least maybe a bit of like you know pressure but not like come out of the whole box like what kind of a goalkeeper does that when a striker's there like if if Neto played it smart, like the scoop was good, he nearly, he nearly scored, but just over the bar. If if Neto wanted, he could have just smashed it into the goal. Then it would have been a goal. And also, personally, I think in the next game, maybe not this game because like, he's not ready for it, but maybe like the next game or game after, at least in like one of the recent games, like at least the next like two or three games, I think we should play this guy right here, Billy Gilmore. He is sick in training i've seen some training clips of him on youtube he is good so we need to play him a bit more as pilicota actually i'll just rate the their performance that i saw yes no today okay well, so i'm gonna just be assigning pe i'm just gonna put aside the people who didn't play but no i didn't play uh hakim ziesh um yeah i'll rate him uh, this is like out of 10 so that like, you know, I'll have like 10 point oh, so like a real point something. So, Ziesh, I'll rate him an 8. I thought he played at uh, 8.2 actually, 8.2. I thought he played good. He made some good balls. Corners were good. Just not like, you know, there weren't enough, like, there wasn't enough mentality in it. And then the Wolves, pe uh, the Wolves player just cleared out. Um, so yeah, he played really good. He just, he just like made some, you know, tackling mistakes, possession mistakes. But apart from that, he was really good. I liked his performance. Christian Pulisic, for the time he was on, which was like 15 minutes, I'll still give him a solid eight. I, obviously, I can't give him like higher than that because he didn't play enough for me to judge him like that. But I'll give him an eight. He's, he built so much aggression for the team after when he came on. Havertz, um, I'd give him an 8.5. He made some smart plays, a quick flick from Giroud, but Giroud just couldn't read it quick enough, and then we lost the ball. Um, yeah, he made some good plays with what's called um, Hudson Adoy, which I'll be talking about later. He's right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, solid 8.5. Um, Arisa Balaga didn't play. Mendy. A 7.2, I swear, this guy pisses me off so much. Mason Mount, when he came, uh, for like the time he came on, another solid 8. I can't really give him more than that for the time he uh, played. Tammy Abraham, Abraham, he, he's actually scored once every 43 minutes. <laughs> when, off, like, whenever we uh, play against uh, what's called Wolves, like, he's made three appearances when we play against Wolves, like, I think this season, last season, uh, yeah, I think only, yeah, this season, last season, so, like, the game that I played against them this season and last season, two games that we played against them, yeah, he actually, he scored, like, three appearances, six goals against the club, <laughs> so, yeah, he played decent, yeah, he played pretty good, I'll give him an 8.2. Uh, 8.2 as well, just like uh, Ziyech might have done a bit better, but I don't know. Actually, no, I'd give him an 8, actually, just to make it from Pulisic and Mark. Thiago Silva, I'd give him an 8.4, just for like, yeah, he did good. Oh, actually, I'm going to bump up Kai Havertz's rating to 9. 
I think he did really good, in my opinion. Thiago Silva, then I'll put him on like an 8.6. Olivier Giroud, 8.8, .8, solid. He was good, he, he nearly got a few headers, you know, yeah, played some balls, kind of, just good football in general. And had good positioning as well. Chilwell, um, 8.4 to be honest. He did pretty good, not gonna lie. So, yeah, he was like, you know, there on our left when we needed him. Made some good balls, nearly like scored, kind of. He made a shot. It was pretty close, not gonna lie. Callum Hudson Odoi. I'm giving this guy a very solid 9.2. He made some clever balls. He could he crossed it in whenever it like looked like it was nearly impossible. Like not nearly like you know, he did some amazing curls, got the ball into a box, just so most of the time there was just nobody in there, there was just empty space and then like either was called Rui Patricia, Rui Patricia, um, Rui Patricia, Rui Patricio would, Rui Patricio, ah, Rui Patricio would like just get the ball out or one of the defenders would clear it but yeah he made some passes, nearly scored again, you know, just fantastic performance and he was man of the match. I think he deserved it. Kante didn't play, Reese Jane didn't play, Jorginho, 8.3. He made some smart passes, feel like he could have done, you know, slightly better with some, like, you know, getting to positions and stuff like that. Yeah, he, mo yeah, he could have moved into some better position because when I saw him, he was just standing still. Like, whenever Diddy had the ball and he wasn't involved, he would just stand still somewhere. But then, yeah, he was involved in most of it. I would give him a solid 8.3. Uh, Rudiger, he chased after, you know, he, he was good. He put pressure on, you know, attackers, right wings, left wings. Yeah, he put on good pressure and he was just a good defender. Eight, a solid 8.3 as well. But, like, he couldn't, like, catch up with some of them. But I'll give him that, 8.3. Alonso didn't play. Random goalkeeper still didn't play. Mateo Kovacic, I'd give him an 8.9. 8.9. He got, he so nearly scored like a goal. So close. Full on just skimmed the, the what's it called, top, uh, full on just skimmed the top right. Like just on the outside of the bar. And just hit the outside netting. Uh, Cesar Azpilicueta. 8.7 or 8.8 .8 between that like he did some smart balls nearly got one into abraham which he nearly scored but just about over like just overpowered and just too much power and got into Rui patricia but apart from that patricio but apart from that yeah he was really good he made some other balls with like um hudson adore and stuff like that so overall really good performance i was actually happy with chelsea's uh game today it wasn't too bad. I feel like we could have done better with the players that we played with. Maybe, uh, maybe Tucker will have uh, Tuchel or Thomas Tuchel will have to like you know, uh, you know, ma like manage and put like smart, uh, like make smarter players. Uh oh, and then, like make smarter decisions when putting on his starting eleven. But apart from that, I think he's really good, as we all know. He likes to play like possession games. He likes it when. His team has possession and normally plays with that to like eventually get goals. That's his logic and likes to play like that. Most of the time pays off. So yeah, looking forward to him managing or continuing to manage our team. Uh, loving it right now. But I, I think he has some really good potential. Just needs to play a few more games, you know, get into some pra get into practice with the team. So yeah, I think he just needs to work on it a bit. You know, just work on his links and his relationship with the players, how he plays with them, how he manages them, his reactions on the pitch, his training. His training is actually pretty good. I saw another clip of him like training with Chelsea. So yeah, training good. Um, for, me, for me right now, he has all the ticks and just hopes he continues his good work that he's doing right now. Because I can tell from this game, he just underestimated Wolves a bit. So apart from that, I think he could have done way better if he just put on some better, some smart, if he just did some smarter, uh, smarter decisions. And yeah, make some smarter player choices. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my like review on 
um, our game, Chelsea's game today. If you didn't know already, I support Chelsea. So like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. The place but the fishy on me. Gotta let the bee but the fishy on me. Gotta do it, I'll slap your knee. Fishy on me, fishy on me. I don't want the place but the fishy on me. Gotta let the bee but I'll slap your knee. Fishy to be but I don't.